Good morning, Warriors. How are we doing today? This is April 11, 2022, a great morning. Uh, yesterday was a great day in our town here and uh, beautiful weather. And it looks like it's gonna be another great day today and that's wonderful as we get springtime and uh, all the things are gonna start to grow and it's beautiful to see. Hope you guys had a nice weekend. Hope you guys are doing well in your goals and, and moving forward. Um, wait for a second here and hope you guys are doing well and uh, I want to appreciate everybody for comments likes donations things like that and uh, I'm gonna call a couple ones um, I have a couple different comments here first I want to shout out to uh, and I, I if I pronounce the right name wrong please let me know my my Lafay I think it is uh, and I could be wrong on that. But I appreciate your comments um, as well, young lady. And I will get back to you uh, and, and do a video on that in a couple days. She had a good comment about how we get better looking as time goes on age-wise. And I think some people do. And there's reasons for that. So we'll go ahead and kind of focus on that. I think that's a, a, good, uh, a, good, a good question, good topic for a discussion. So we'll talk about that one. And then Shubham uh, gave a couple good comments. Uh, one of them is a longer question comment. I'm going to go ahead and dissect that one a little bit and talk about this since we've been talking about energy and all those type of things. But I also wanted to comment on his other comment. We'll do that today. And his other question was on monk mode. So we're going to kind of take that one first, and then maybe tomorrow I do Miss uh, Lafise, and then we'll go ahead and do uh, the other one from Shubham once I'm able to dissect it and kind of talk about it a little bit in the video. All right, so um, Shubham was asking me about monk mode, and I probably could have done this yesterday. I reached 200 days of monk mode yesterday. I think I'm 576 days of um, no fab, and so we're getting close to 700 when it comes to that. But yeah, um, and I just feel unbelievable. I just feel unbelievable. It's just amazing to me um, what, what these benefits are and how strong you just feel. You know, I have a lot of stressful situations going on and I don't feel stressed. I have very little stress. And I think a lot of that goes back to all these things you have inside of yourself. And to me, this is the natural way people should be. Not, you know, thinking about all these other types of depravity, types of behaviors and things like that. So we talk about monk mode. Let me kind of answer the question that Chubham talked about. About 200 days ago, I decided that I was going to get away from all these other things that, um, you know, I, first of all, let me take a step back. I wanted to kind of get rid of everything because it was just not working. After 45 years of going back and forth on different types of things, trying to do stuff that was like, okay, let's do it for a little bit here, but we don't want to totally lose this because in my mind, I was kind of brainwashed into believing that this was the best thing for you to go ahead and release all the time and look at pictures and this kind of stuff and this is really being very healthy. When in fact, the it, it was like a matrix, like we have a lot of matrices, uh, matrix out there, matrices out there. It was just false. It's the opposite. And I don't. I, and, and I remember that only because, as I thought about this more, I was thinking of the days before I started doing on this kind of stuff, and I had just felt totally different. And a lot of it was because I was, um, you know, not not thinking about that kind of stuff at all until I was you know, 12, 13, 14 years old. And so really when you look at this, it really kind of goes back to being just normal. And a lot of times in society, we've gone so far away from that and depravity and the evil one getting into our world and, and just kind of going ahead and kind of brainwashing people to the point where they are, um, you know, they're not thinking about anything else but that. And so monk mode, uh, Shabham, is basically in my mind, now everybody looks at this differently and they do things differently, is my mind is just completely forgetting about this totally. Not even entertaining thoughts, no edging, no nothing like that. And I've done that now for 200 days. Now, is there times when thoughts come into your head 
and you are getting excited? Of course there is. Of course. But I'm talking about dealing with all those by moving past that and getting away from that. And so there's nothing you can do about the birds flying over your head. I guess that's the analogy I always use. So birds in this case really kind of mean all the pictures and things you see. But you can control that. And am I perfect with it? <clears throat> well, you know, there's thoughts that come through and I have, because I had 45 years of it, it is difficult sometimes. But I've gotten to the point where I'm very, so much more goal-oriented and I feel so much stronger now that I basically kind of switched that off real fast and go back to something that I did. So one of the things I do, especially this happens at night when I'm sleeping, is I go back to the goals that I have. Three major areas, and I dream about theirs every night. With Easter coming up, you know, one of mine is really to have a strong spiritual life with my uh, Savior and, and, and Lord Jesus Christ, and so I dream about that a lot. And then I also have, you know, about my financial situations and my physical nature as well. So those things, I shift off of any thoughts of this. So at night, you know, there's dreams that come through and things like that happen. But I try to shift away from that anytime I can catch that. So 45 years of being ingrained into all this stuff we're talking about, releasing and all that, does make it difficult. I think for some of you guys who are younger, you don't have that problem. Your issue, from what I'm remembering from my point, my my years, is really just a high amount of energy and all the peer pressure and all the people around you telling you, well, you have to do this. This is what a man is supposed to be like. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And <clears throat> for you not to have thoughts about this and think about this, you know, means that, you know, you're, you're funny or weird. <clears throat> and, and that's not really the case. I mean, the strength you have... It's just unbelievable. And I'm, I, guys, I am 60 years old. I'm going to be 61 in a couple months. I mean, you know, I, and I feel this strong. You guys are 20 and 30. You guys just, you're just like Superman if you go to monk mode. And this is a thing. So we're not talking necessarily about not being attractive. I mean, you know, women, are, women will still flock over you. But the question now is, is how you are dealing with that. And when you go to monk mode, basically what you're doing is you're trying to get any kind of thoughts away from that and shifting all your attention and transmitting all your energy to this. Now, I do believe, at first when I did, started this no fab, you, you might be wondering why I have 200 days instead of 600 days, right? 676 days now I have no fab. Well, it was all increments. You know, at one time I was trying to deal with the fact that I'm trying to... Uh, See, well, why can't, you know, why can't I just stop this? And I guess I was afraid to stop that because of all the consequences that I felt were going to hurt me. You know, prostate cancer, all these things that you're learning from all those type of things. And so the idea was is that I decided, okay, I don't care about that anymore. I'm going to go ahead and just do it. Now, you know, once again, I felt, well, in the back of my mind, I felt like, well, I have to go ahead and try to do something or else I'm really going to have a problem. And so I fight that type of idea because I've been so ingrained with this for so many years. So I, you know, did edging for a while and things like that. And I feel, as I, some people I think have mentioned within our discussions here, that um, you lose energy. So like, for example, when you lose energy emotionally. So, for example, you're yelling and screaming at somebody or you're upset with somebody or you're sitting there listening to them for, you know, an hour or so. You are exhausted. You've lost energy. And I think you can do the same thing if you're not, if you're not going full blast on this. So this is my viewpoint. It's very difficult to go monk mode, but... And, and like I said, I'm, uh, I'm older, so to me... I can, I'm at the point where I feel I can do this now. You may not feel like you're at that point, but I would suggest that as you, as you get older, move into that, that area more and more. Because I think you're going to find yourself so successful and also so peaceful and so happy. You know, I, uh, like I said, I don't get stressed out very much anymore. 
I don't have really a lot of anxiety too much anymore. Uh, and a lot of crazy things are going on around me. But I just feel like I have a lot more uh, control. I'm more rooted to the ground. And I think a lot of it's because I've, I've kept my nutrients. And that's not my major thought uh, of this. Now, part of it could be because I am older. And maybe part of that is true. Uh, but part of it is the fact that now I've you know, been retaining for you know, 676 days. And, uh, and over the last 200 days, not really been given too much thought to this at all. And I think that's the key. Now, it's always going to be a challenge because when you're in the springtime and the summer, you get a lot of you know, uh, temptation out there because people are not dressed the same way, right? And so you're going to be able to kind of see a lot of the um, girls and things out there. So you're going to get thoughts. Thoughts are going to be out there. And, uh, you know, remember, just remember, a lot of times you talk about these energy suckers and they may not know who they are in actuality but energy suckers are there to draw your energy one way or the other emotionally physically whatever it might be and so the energy suckers the vampires i call them they're going to be they're going to be out but you're going to have to try to if you're, if you're following this you know if you're not going to follow it well then it's going to be up to you but like i said you know i tried not following it for many years and i kept coming back to this and finally, you know, decided that this is really, this is unbelievable. It has changed my whole life around and things are just a lot different now than they used to be. And I'm not swayed by those type of things anymore. And I think that the more you can get to that point and getting closer to it, and I'm not there yet. I'm a long way to go. But I'm in better condition than I was, you know, two and a half years ago, right? Or almost two years ago. So, so I think this is a positive type of thing. And I think as you look at this, you're going to kind of decide, you know, what is it do I really want? You know, in my case, I've had kids. We're at the point where, you know, um, I, I guess I can look at this differently. And once again, I am not, um, I believe the Bible talks about the fact that you have to use your uh, energy for things, reproduction, things like that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But the mindset should not be trying to use this energy up every minute of the day, which is what happens when people get into an addiction type of cycle where they're releasing all the time and then they just keep thinking about this all the time. Now they're losing energy and all of a sudden now you're at a different point of what you're looking at. So I think monk mode is so much more effective to me than the NoFap was. And so I've seen a huge increase in things, even from the perspective of NoFap being, a, and I was out NoFap, what, 200, 200, 476 days before I started NoFap. And, uh, you know, now I'm doing that. And it, it, it's I see a big difference in the last 200 days too. I just think you have to get to the point where you have to take control of this situation. And if you do that, you're going to take control of those situations as well. And it's just going to continue to grow and uh, make you stronger and stronger. And this is what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> and you know, who knows how long this will go. I'm going to, I'm shooting for 12 years. Long time. Long time. And I'll have, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of videos so we do 360 some videos while we're here so we're doing a lot of videos <laughs> i can't even count them like 36,000 or something like that but a lot of videos right on this stuff but the main thing my friends is i want to go ahead and kind of indicate to you that you have to kind of follow your own you know plan follow what god is planning for you and I think certainly to me, monk mode is one of those things for me, it was a great thing. So uh, I wanted to kind of answer Shoham's question. Sometimes, you know, I get so crazy busy that I don't get a chance to respond back. So I try to do it within the video uh, only because I'm, um, you know, I had the time right now to do that. So, all right, my friends. Well, this is April 11, 2022. Hope you guys have a wonderful day today. And once again, Shubham, thank you so much for two great comments. I'll try to concentrate on yours 
if I can dissect and kind of give you a good answer tomorrow. If not, we'll do that on Wednesday. And then, uh, uh, Lafay, I will get back to you as well and uh, see if we can try to make a video on age and how uh, that affects your energy as well. So, all right, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you later. God bless you, and battle on.